Hi everybody. Um, today on the first 10 minutes we are going to learn how to squash a bug with a rock. Uh, in this case the bug is the hero bug is me, Kha'Zix, and the rock is the vile enemy Malphite. Uh, so let's get into it. So in this game, um, I am playing Kha'Zix. Uh, I'm going top. Uh, we actually have kind of a funny thing. We have an unusual site. We have actually we have Kha'Zix mid, uh, which is a very strange phenomena to see uh, since he's banned almost always. Uh, and in our pregame chat, uh, people were like, "I don't understand why Kha'Zix is banned or why uh, Kha'Zix is banned that much. It just seems so strange at the low elos, you know, the lower leagues." Uh, and then. Uh, Cassidy went on to basically get like 30 kills in the game, <laughs> so he kind of showed why he was banned. Um, really great at chasing and killing people. Anyway, so I'm uh was gonna walk up. I'm laning against Malphite. I was gonna get up there, and uh, Cassidy was like, "Hey, can you guard blue?" I'm like, "Yeah, sure." And then he like said, "Hey, you should actually buy some better runes." I was like, "Okay, yeah, sure," uh, which is true. Uh, I've been buying runes for uh, Zareth, and Kha'Zix is a completely different beast. Uh, and with, uh, with Kha'Zix, I just don't have any runes for him yet, but I was also kind of sort of like, okay, I'll do that, uh, fellow bronze league person. Um, but anyway, so we're basically farming away, and I have never laned against Malphite before, so I was kind of thinking he might be hard to kill, which I think he actually is quite hard to kill. Um, I also didn't realize he did mostly magic damage, I couldn't remember. Uh, which didn't really matter because I wasn't really itemizing against him. I just kind of took a generic build. But I do some good stuff where I basically freeze the lane right here. It's a nice safe place. It's a long lane. So whoever gets cut out by the jungler is in trouble uh, if they're not built like a tank. Uh, and uh, Malphite is kind of beaten on me a little bit and I'm going through my sustain. Uh, and I think most of this game I don't even really touch his sustain. He has one health potion that he never really uses. Uh, it's very, very hard for me to to uh, do something to Malphite because there's so many hit points. Still freezing the lane, getting out of turret. Having to use potions to do it though. Um, but I think that um, one and one of the things I should do, like if we look here at this lane, um, this isn't too bad, uh, I guess. But whenever there's more minions on one side than the other, the lane will push. Uh, so what we're seeing is the reason that the lane can be frozen here is because when the purple wave reaches They're gonna outnumber me actually it's gonna move up just a little bit here now um, But as long as he's clearing the minions faster or as long as I can not kill them slower then the lane will stay frozen here Because um, I didn't really want to get caught. Uh, There's a Warwick jungle and you can actually see him. He's actually roaming down in our uh, top jungle right now Um so anyway, things I kind of have learned from this game while playing against uh, Mal Malphite is that uh, it's fine just to farm against Malphite. Uh, he's just he gets a shield every few seconds if you don't keep hitting him, which you can try to keep hitting him, but uh, he just starts with a lot of hit points, especially if he's got the good runes. So let's speed it up a little bit. Basically, keeping the lane frozen, uh, and he's gonna level before me basically always because he's the lane has been pushed up so as long as he sticks around in lane he's leveling before me so he'll get to six i got here before me he's six and then i think i get six in just a moment maybe one more minute there. yep so now i'm six but he got there there's always this little window now i evolved wings to give me a larger leap distance because of this longer lane um if i was in mid which is what i had been hoping to play um then uh, I probably would have uh, evolved my claws first, my Q first, so I'd just have a better assassinate. Uh, something that you normally see the Kha'Zix do when you watch uh, high-level Kha'Zix players play. And so this is pretty quiet. Um, and we're going to have a moment here where our, my jungle is going to come up to gank, uh, but there's kind of a problem with it. You can see Elise is coming up the lane right now. But the problem uh, is that I have no way to follow up on a gank because I'm out of mana, which will be a, a theme of this... Uh, of this uh, first 10 minutes. So, without mana, I can't gank. I can't follow up. And I, right here, I, I told her, I was like, hey, I'm out of mana. Uh, that's why I'm not, not ganking with you. 
Um, but Lee's has been play at least plays really well in this game. So I'm just working on last hitting, working on last hitting, trying to get a little harassed going on Malphite. Uh, and now we get to the action, the meat of it. Malphite tries to kill me. Now I'm feeling pretty good because of all the minions around me. And let's see what, what the math is like. All right. So here we have the math. Uh, so Malphite's ultimate is that uh, it's up to leveled up to one. Uh, and it dives at you, pounces you up in the air, and it does 200 magic damage. He's been leveling his ground slam. He's been using that to clear the waves. Uh, it's leveled up to four. It does 203 magic damage. He has Seismic Shard, which is a little slow that he can just toss on me. If he decides to, it does 70 magic damage. And then uh, his auto attack does 80. So let's say he gets in two auto attacks, and he puts an Ignite on me. Uh, so the Ignite is true damage, so it, it bypasses defense as a straight hit point damage. Uh, and if we total it all up, uh, with my armor, uh, 51 because of my, ironically because of my, uh, my runes, um, but uh, it doesn't have much of an effect because he's doing most of magic damage. Uh, my magic resist is 39, my health is 641. Uh, so what's interesting here is that this is actually not quite enough to kill me, but it is so close. I mean, we're talking one auto attack. If he was able to get in one more auto attack, then he would be able to kill me. Uh, so he doesn't kill me, uh, but in addition, we'll see that something else kind of plays out in this fight. So let's take a look at the fight and see what actually happens. So I'm feeling safe in my minion wave, because uh, if he fights me, he's going to get peed on my love minions, but he has such a huge amount of health that I shouldn't have uh, thought about that. So anyway, here he comes, all full of uh, excitement. He ults me. Boom. Uh, he punches me. That's an auto attack in. He ignites me. Hits me again. I flash and I leap to get away. So what exactly happened there? Because he did almost everything right to get me down to five hit points, um, but he didn't. And the reason is he was low on mana. He actually only had... 144 mana, but his full rotation of spells cost 235 mana. So just like how I was out of mana earlier and couldn't uh, participate on a gank, uh, he was just low enough on mana that he actually couldn't even do his full rotation of spells. Uh, and if he was going to preserve enough mana to do that, he would have had to not been using his ground slam to clear minions. Uh, his mana regeneration is about 2 mana per second, and his ground slam is about 65 mana. So, basically, with his mana regeneration, he could only cast Ground Slam out once every 30 seconds. So he would have had to, at his current mana where we fought, he would have to have not cast a Ground Slam, two Ground Slams, which means he would have to have not cast a Ground Slam for about a minute before that gank. Uh, or he would have had to pace himself earlier and, you know, do a little less harass on me at some points, do a little less, um, well, the harass is good because it keeps my hit points down, but do not do the uh, ground slam uh, so regularly. Uh, alternatively, what he could have done, uh, and I, now we did the math and I would have gotten away, unless he got an extra auto attacks. And so what he could have also done, because he had flash up as well, is let's say he had enough mana, he could actually have auto attacked me a few times, you know, maybe hit me with seismic shard, maybe do a ground slam, do everything but his ultimate, uh, until I freaked at my low health, and tried to get away, then he could have ultimated me, and that would have given him more auto attacks built into his this fight, right? By basically throwing the ultimate down early, um, he basically alerted me that the all-in was happening, um, and he probably could have kept up on me a little bit there, because I was feeling very, very safe in my minion wave. Um, and uh, not much else happens in this next uh, next few seconds, so... That's this uh, first 10 minutes. Uh, I hope you found education. If you like it, please like it. Um, if you really like it, please subscribe. Uh, and I will uh, see you next time.